Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy watching my videos. And don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Ano pang inihintay niyo? Panuorin na natin ito. Listen everyone, I'm going to discuss the nervous system, the structure of the nervous system. In this lesson, we're going to answer questions. What is nervous system? What are the parts of the nervous system? And how the parts of the nervous system work in our body. So, ano pang inihintay natin? Let's go guys! Listen, relax, and have fun! So, ang nervous system ay may dalawang mahalagang bahagi. Ang una ay central nervous system at ang pangalawa naman ay peripheral nervous system. So, ano ang ginagampanan ng bawat bahaging ito? So, narayan ang central nervous system na tinatawag nating main processing center ng nervous system na binubuo ng utak at ng spinal cord. Narayan naman ang peripheral nervous system na binubuo ng somatic and autonomic na bahagi ng nervous system. Ang central nervous system ay mayroong dalawang mahalagang bahagi ang brain at spinal cord. At ang brain naman na mayroon tatlong mahalagang bahagi rin ang cerebrum, cerebellum at brainstem. So ano ba ang pangasyon ng cerebrum? So nagko-control sa ating activity at mga pag-isip. Samantalang cerebellum naman sa ating tindig, balanse at paggalaw. Brainstem, bahagi pa rin ng utak na siyang nakakonekta sa ating spinal cord na nagko-control sa ating paghinga, pagtunaw ng pagkain, tibok ng ating puso at pagtaas ng presyo ng dugo. Spinal cord, bahagi pa rin ng central nervous system na kung saan ito ang nagiging daan ng signal na nanggagaling sa ating utak at patungo sa iba't ibang bahagi ng katawan katulad ng musculoskeletal reflexes na hindi nanggagaling sa utak. Okay, dumako naman tayo sa peripheral nervous system or PNS. Ang peripheral nervous system ay binubuo ng somatic nervous system at saka ng autonomic nervous system. So, ang ating somatic nervous system ay voluntary controlled by the body at ang ating autonomic ay involuntary controlled by the body. Somatic nervous system, this system is associated with the voluntary control of the body, movements and has two main parts, the spinal nerve and the cranial nerves. Autonomic nervous system. So this system is associated with involuntary control of the body movements and has two subdivisions. So sympathetic and parasympathetic. Pag sinabi natin sympathetic, this is activated when the body is in the dynamic role of stress. So kapag tayo ay tumitibok ng mabilis ang ating puso, kapag tayo humihinga ng malalim, Kapag lumalaki ang ating mata, kapag tayo nagpapawis, at marami pang iba. Yun yung mga bagay na hindi natin nakokontrol. Samantalang ang parasympathetic naman ay ibinabalik yung ating katawan para maging relax ulit tayo. Dumako naman tayo sa nerve cell. Ano ba ang nerve cell? Ang nerve cell ay pinakamaliit na unit ng nervous system. Ito'y tinatawag na neurons para makabuo tayo ng brain at saka ng spinal cord. So, kailangan natin ng billions of neurons. Ano ba ang mga bahagi ng Neurons, so narayan ng dendrites, narayan ng axon at saka cell body. Ano bang dendrites? So, carry impulses towards the cell body. So, ibig sabihin, papunta sa cell body, samantalang ang axon naman ay carry impulses away from the cell body, papalayo naman. At ang tinatawag naman nating nerve impulse is a combination of electrical charge and chemical reaction at tinatawag natin yung nerve impulse. Other information, a nerve impulse cannot jump from one neuron to another. So, synapse, the space between two neurons. The nerve impulse is sent by neurotransmitter from one neuron to another through a gap called synapse. Nervous system is assisted by five sense organs, the eyes, the nose, the tongue, the ears, and the skin. 
these organs receiving information from the environment to the brain.